what I did was, I'm going to show you a mistake that I did because it fucked me up and I should never have done it and I don't want you guys to do it either, is looking around at other people and what they're doing with their dogs. You cannot play the compare game. It's literally the worst fucking thing you can do in the world. It was something that I struggled with as a trainer really early on in my career because you're looking around, man. You know, you're looking for, you know, you're looking for uh, validation. You know, am I doing it right? Does this trainer like me? Because if he likes me, well, then I must be doing something right. There's a lot of that going on. And while I understand it, because I've actually gone through that, it's just something that's just completely in my mind unnecessary and it does no good for you at all. It's always gonna do bad because you're gonna start questioning yourself. These people aren't gonna be explaining, you know, little disclaimers like, hey man, you know, I've got this with my dog, but we've been working for X amount of time. I've got this with my dog, but hey, genetically speaking, this is something that's gonna be acquired a little easier than, a, than your dog, who's a fucking genetic nightmare. And you're just gonna to have to work harder with your specific dog, but you don't know that. All you do is you see these amazing results of these motherfuckers doing fancy shit, tip of the cap to them, but you, as a regular old fucking pet owner, or just looking for a little bit of a better relationship with your dog, do not need a fucking lock on. You don't need an orbit. You don't need a focused heel. You don't need these things. All that advanced competition shit, you're a family pet owner. You're gonna go compete? No, you ain't got the fucking time to compete. You're a family pet person and that's fine, so am I. So it's easy for me to look around at everyone else with this fancy shit that aren't really making very many disclaimers about, hey, this is a Belgian, I've been working this, there's no disclaimers made. It's always like, look how fucking fancy I am. And then it leaves you to think that you're doing something wrong or that there's something out there that, you know, some mythical, magical fucking information. There really isn't. All the information in dog training is practical and simple. It is not fucking complicated. I, 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 there's not uh, an idea or a method of teaching or this that when I learned it, I was like, oh, that's fucking brain busting. It's not brain busting. And I'm not saying I don't have more to learn, but I am saying this shit is not hard. Dog training is a matter of like, do you have the patience to go through what you need to go through to like ultimately get what you need to get? That is fucking it. 